Welcome to Phoenix, Arizona, everyone. This episode is coming right after the Seattle one that I just did last week, which is my voice is a little bit weird because my body didn't really react well to going from 100 degrees to 40 and then back. So now I have this nasty cold. And again, it is like 105 today here too. And we're filming in the Kimpton in downtown Phoenix. We're really close to the airport, which I love. This is our room. Today I have two trainers and I'm mostly focusing on one of them that I don't really have a lot of footage of. Hey everyone. And this is the room that she's in. So we have, I think, a maximum of 20 people in these groups. We're running two rooms, this one and the one right behind that wall. And the setup is pretty basic. Everything's provided, projector, flip chart. There's a desk. We probably don't need that. And then the group with five chairs each. The room on the other side is exactly the same and Brad's training in there who I recorded last week that you can see in the Seattle blog. This room is not bad. And we have these nice windows with shades. So even if there's sun, it should give us soft lighting. I'm gonna roll that down um, to match everything. I'm still gonna drop in, I think my light panel one right here and hopefully if there's power i want to put one in this corner because it's kind of hidden right it's not in the in the place i can probably run it from there because if i'm here i should be able to have a panel up here now these lights are pretty yellow um, we can keep them on it's fine as long as the projector is powerful enough i got all my gear uh tucked in the way this corner it looks like there's a big structural concrete beam here or whatever so i can just hide my stuff back here in this corner nobody's going to come here i'm going to start set up in a minute it's about 7 30. breakfast is almost starting but we start at nine so i have a lot of time basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to have my tripod my big one back here and i have <clears throat> the 7 into 200 on it to be able to follow her a little bit and i'm going to have my second camera which is in my hand put down pretty much zoomed in as a wide shot so she can move around but it's not going to affect anything and then let me just drop down my f-stop hey brad what's going on this is the setup i ended up with i've got the 70 to 200 on the a7s3 with the ninja just like last week on the big tripod and i have this one set up right next to it which will be the wide angle, kind of like this, maybe a little bit closer. There is a little bit of a problem with body balance, and I'm sure you guys can see this right now, is that the room is like 3,200 Kelvin, pretty standard, like, um, hotel lighting. But because we have windows and the sun is kind of going this way, there is daylight coming through the windows, which makes the right side of the room blue-ish even though I'm trying to block it as much as possible and I do have a panel uh, one of the Amaran P60Cs blasting 3200 Kelvin towards the left and I have another one hidden in that corner because the trainer hopefully is not going to stay in front of the projector all the time but more so move around and have maybe on this side or on that side and I have the ability to follow her with my longer lens yeah there's the other light so I've got the tentacle sinks all running she's gonna have one I'm having one and then I also have the zoom f6 on the floor here with the generator on and two handhelds just in case I want to capture the audience like I don't really want to like record all the faces and stuff on this one because of client requests but i still want to be able to hear what they say so i have the two mics ready to go and if my camera would focus you know that would be pretty good two avx's fully charged ready to go they record into the f6 i'm recording two cameras and HD because this is a long training so I need the space and 4k isn't really a requirement for these corporate trainings so 
This is pretty much ready to go. I can grab some breakfast and we're starting at nine, which I guess it's in about 50 minutes. And hopefully, I think we have a break after every 90 minutes, so it's not gonna be that bad. I'm gonna swap batteries, uh, grab the charged ones, and then just keep them all running. This camera is actually plugged in with Type-C and Type-C because my, my uh, Sony battery back there is actually um, battery that you can charge with Type-C. So I'll just keep it charged the whole day from my laptop charger over there. And that's true for the camera also. And obviously I have the ability to zoom in really, really tight and do tracking shots of the trainer moving around. I want it to be dynamic for her reel. So I'm really focusing on, you know, getting her tight shots and then just use this uh, other camera for an emergency wide angle at like 35 mil or something like that. A lot of these things, they are not hard at all for us to do, but they can make a big difference. They also do require some intentionality. So if I'm going to do things like trying to show someone I listened to them or I remembered our conversation from last week or last month, you also have to be taking good notes. Is Gucci a thing? Do we still say that? That's, that's so like 2010s. <laughs> Oh, I just figured it out. I told you I would. It's the word, unfortunately. I freaking hate this word because every time somebody says unfortunately, in my brain, what I hear is some pompous, arrogant English dude saying, unfortunately. Like, that's what I hear. And, and it, it's just a word that we use all the time. Like, how many times do you use unfortunately? Email, unfortunately, we can't do that. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get this done by tomorrow. Like, regrettably is another word. That's at least better. But unfortunately, it just sounds so canned and it doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel authentic. So that's my trigger word. I just wrapped up this shoot at 4.30. I did lose my voice almost completely. They are pushing the AC down to like 65 in here and that's like just killing me totally. I don't think my body likes to go from 100 to 40 and then back to 100 and then 65 and then 110 because it's really crazy outside and it's just totally drying out my throat and it's just killing me but everything went fine i got footage from both trainers we're good to go